Good morning. For today's Samaritan Morning Checkup, I'm here with Beth Phipps and Marie Hess. They're going to talk about the 7th Annual Susan Peters Nursing Scholarship. Thank you for joining me this morning. Thank you. Thank you for having us. Now, we've talked about this scholarship almost every year, and this is a great opportunity for those nursing students to apply and get a little bit of money to help towards all of that schooling. Why don't you explain how this scholarship works and who it's in memory of? So the scholarship is in memory of, and it was actually started by Susan Peters. This is our seventh annual. And Susan is a retired nurse from the um, Samaritan Health System. And she was very committed to um, having the support and the ability for more nurses, RNs, to um, go through the higher education of becoming nurse practitioners. And so she wanted to start a scholarship. And we offer this on an annual basis, two scholarships at $2,000 each. That's great. That really has to help with all of the schooling and everything and just help offset some of the costs. So as far as applying for this, what would be some of the first steps the nurses would need to take? So there's an application. We can either mail it to um, someone or they can go online to SamaritanHealth.com slash scholarships and fill out that application. And there are a couple of things that do have to come with that. Um, as far as uh, the criteria, there's transcripts, um, there's uh, references, and, and they'll see the information there within the application. But uh, to be eligible, um, they need to be at least um, two years as an RN, and they need to live in the Jefferson or Lewis County area. Um, and those are really the, the big things as well as um, grades that we look for, uh, successful completion of the first semester in their NP program. Uh, but we really are um, excited to continue to offer this and we hope that um, we can get the word out there and that we have a lot of applicants this year for the scholarship. Yeah, now Marie, you help choose who gets the scholarships, right? So what are some things that you look for? Uh, one of the things that, that I look for, uh, is, as Beth mentioned, uh, some of the, the application, but I will look at the experience of the RNs. They need two years experience. We look for medical surgical experience. And we also look for the commitment to perhaps stay in the county to offer, once they graduate, to offer health care to um, our community. And also the, the whole idea that they are committed to our community and uh, to nursing and wanting that, that education, that more education to provide better care for our patients. We've given this scholarship for over the seven years and we've had great success with uh, people graduating as NPs and staying in the area. And I think that speaks so well to what Susan wanted this to be. Yeah, so a lot of things that you're looking for. Now, when is the deadline to apply for this? July 15th. All right, so you want to get on that quickly. I'm sure that's fastly approaching, and there is a little bit of, of work that has to go into the application itself. Can they find everything on the website? Yes, they can. Everything is there online, and they can either print it if they prefer to do that, um, or they can send it all um, online and email us the information that we need, the supporting documentation. Well, either way, a really nice scholarship to help, you know, support those nurses, especially those that want to stay in the area and help just offset some of the costs too from all the schooling and everything like that. And in a really nice honor of Susan as well. Well, thank you so much for joining me this morning. Thank you, Mackenzie. Thank you. Thank, thank you. We'll be right back. 